Hi, everybody. My name is Katerina Kowalewska. I'm a head of Association HR Pro, and I'm very glad to welcome you all today. Thank you for being with us. Today, we have a very important and definitely relevant topic for discussion, taking into account the constantly growing staff mobility all over the world. And definitely, we very highly professional speakers who are ready to share their knowledge and experience. Many thanks for both Natalia, Natalia Garbenka and Natalia Selinger uh, for readiness and willingness to share and share, and share your time and experience with us. Thank you. As a head of professional HR community, I will start with short introduction of association activities. And after that, I will give the floor to our speakers. I will be very glad to see your reactions and comments in our chat. Leave your questions in it. And in the final part of our meeting, we will definitely try to answer all of them. Since our audience today is very international and I'm limited in time, I will focus on the activities of HR Pro in partnership with SHRM. So a couple of words about SHRM. Please, next slide. Yeah, the Society of Human Resource Management has been around since 1948. This year, they celebrate 75 years anniversary. Uh, 173 countries, uh, rep in 173 countries, you can find the Sharim representatives' offices. And more than 300,000 people are community members. It's huge numbers, as you can see. More than 120,000 Sharim certified HR professionals around the world. We are in partnership with the SHRM already eight years and helping our students to prepare primarily for a SHRIM certification exam. And I will share with you some more uh, products SHRIM represents. So we are representing SHRIM in Ukraine, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, and Baltic and Republic of Belarus. Uh, during eight years, we were collected the delegation to SHRIM annual conference. And I will tell you a little bit more about conference, which takes part this year in Las Vegas in June. Um, despite all the things which happen and continue to happen in our country, we continue to help and prepare students for this exam. And evaluating and, and elevating HR professionals around the world. So, as you can see, this sign is uh, recognizable in professional community around the world and confirms the level of qualification of its owner. SHRIM represents two levels of certification SHRIM certified professional and senior certified professional. And what is important as well, that um, this certification is evaluated not only the level of knowledge, but the ability to use knowledge competencies. So it's competency-based certification. Second product, it's a new one for SHRIM, but I really love it a lot. It's a SHRIM people management qualification. And this is what HR can use to help their management team to grow, to become more acquainted with HR questions and to be more efficient with their teams. It really looks like the three seasons, 30 episodes, very... Uh, trendy uh, experience you get during the process of preparation for this certification. So please pay attention to this product, find out more information about this and try it. It's really worth your attention. 
Next one. About conference, I promise you that I will share a little bit more information. It's going to be an amazing uh, event, 75 years anniversary. And I think it's, first of all, um, I can say that any kind of Shrim annual conference, any year, every year we visited it, it was something. And as I can say that any HR professional in the world should at least once attend this event. It's four days full of networking, uh, inspiration, and knowledge. More than 200 sessions. So for sure, you will find something really uh, important uh, for yourself and 11 content tracks. And as you can see, it's going to be in Vegas. Uh, because Vegas can uh, allow to so many attendees. It's not only the conference, it's a huge exhibition as well, where you can find any kind of products you need to be effective and efficient in your everyday working activities. Next one. Uh, it's, it's going to be in Vegas, so it's... Uh, going to be fun as well. So they every year represent some star and you can attend the concert. This year it will be the Janet Jackson's concert. So at some some pluses, not, not just knowledge, but entertainment, as I said, serious, serious inspiration. And here you can see the numbers for HR Pro delegation. Uh, we already have more than uh, 12, 12 attendees already confirmed, and it's attendees all over the Europe from Luxembourg, Hungary, Romania, Ukraine, Latvia. So please join us. It's really worth it. It's really amazing experience. Next one. Uh, what I could, what I should, and what to say it's a big thanks to our event partner. Uh, it's just because uh, their help and uh, they desire to, um, to help us to create such uh, important uh, webinars. People Force is one is an all-in-one HR, HR platform for manager entire employee experience and I can just invite you go to their site, see the products, um, and fall in love with this as many of their clients. So, as I promised, just a minute. So, I it looks like I was on time. Uh, join us on social media. Find us in LinkedIn, Facebook, and so. Uh, be a part of professional um, association, uh, professional clubs, because it really helps to ev evaluate and uh, elevate your career, believe me. So, Natalia, it's your time. The floor is yours. As I already said today, I counted how many years we knew each other and it's 10 years and every year of during these 10 years we created something amazing something amazing not just for us <laughs> as a person to know each other but for HR community and I would like to say many many thanks again Natalia for your time Natalia's for your time and Natalia Garbenko that you agreed to be today and to share this really important uh, case because we know how it's, especially for Ukrainians, how it's important to if that, that question for us right now. So please. Thank you so much, Katerina. We really have known each other for 10 years and every year we create something amazing and that's uh, thanks to your energy, to your professionalism and to your support. And again, we're always eager to share and we do that globally. So I, in, I represent the company which operates in more than 30 countries. So we are big. We have 17,000 people behind us. 
and we have amazing HR team. So today I'm really happy that Natalia Selinger, who is managing director and HR director for Lux of Poland is here with me. And we have a small deck for you, a small, I mean, not very small, but not super big. And that's something which Polish team initially created. And finally, when the product was so good that other countries started asking if they can have the same, we, of course, allowed that to go global. And that's the story of today. So Natalia, a couple of words to you just to say hello, maybe before we start. Thank you, Natalia. I, I, I was starting sharing uh, the presentation. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Natalia. Thank you very much, Katarina, for for the invitation to this uh, to this webinar. I do hope that it will be something interesting uh, for you, something inspiring. So, you know, without further ado, I would like to uh, give my voice to Natalia. As as you mentioned, you would like to introduce our company. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well. Uh... I've been with Luxor for six years, and this company is an amazing place to be for a professional, for any professional, in our case, for an HR professional, because every year we keep growing. So as of now, we are more than 17,000 people globally, and we have really great clients with us, so more than 400 big and quite famous clients, and 74 of them belong to 500, Fortune 500 uh, list of companies. Uh, they allow us to generate uh, almost one and a half billion with B dollars revenue every year. And we are quite ambitious to target two billion dollars there. And at the moment, we have legal entities in 29 countries, but we have partners, PEOs, so professional employment organizations, where we work with them. That's why we always say we are present in more than 30 countries. At the moment, again, every month that changes, it keeps growing. So 34, 35, 36, at some point it will be 40. And as HR professionals, you may understand that it requires a tremendous effort from the whole company, but HR team is in the pioneering group of opening new locations and making that happen. And that's been happening for more than 20 years already. Again, we are not a very young company yet. Uh, we believe our spirits and our energy is that of entrepreneurial startup version of that. Our people, when they join our organization, prefer to stay long. And why? What are the reasons for them to stay? Uh, actually, the opportunities. They can change roles, they can change clients, they can change uh, projects, they can change uh, countries. And that's where our project, one team, really helps them to have very smooth and nice experience while moving abroad. Because I may say, in my personal experience, Due to the war in Ukraine, I never planned to, but he had to relocate. And that's quite a story. It's not an easy thing. It's a challenge in everything, especially when you have your work to be done and when you have your family somewhere and when you have new country, new language, new legislation, new everything around you. And that's exactly when the company is the one who can help you literally survive. And that's what we've been doing uh, for Ukrainian team specifically because of the war happening now. That's where we provide special support. But the whole story started well, well, well before that. And who are our people? If we move on, we may see that our expertise is well known in several uh, areas. So, and that's specifically the biggest one belongs to banking and capital markets. That's where experts from our company, they have not only IT knowledge, not only technology, but also so-called domain knowledge. They really help banks, banking system, capital markets organizations to become stronger. And that requires really very high and precise expertise and many years of experience. That's the biggest part of our organization. And if we talk about Poland, again, that's very typical for our Polish team to be working for banking and capital markets. At the same time, we have two quite equal in size and fast growing other areas. One of them is automotive. That's where we are really happy to say that any car maker in the world, almost any car maker in the world, just Tesla is not there yet, has something from Luxor, literally. 
So we do navigation, we do engineering, we do design, we do music, we do under the hood, we do automotive drive, we do all the things which don't exist yet. So we participate in creating the future. So our guys can see the cars which literally don't exist yet, and they not just look at them, they co-create them. And that's, again, another group of experts with domain knowledge, with very specific expertise, and we really help them grow very fast. And whatever is not banking and capital markets and is not automotive falls into our third area, which is cross-industry solutions. That's where we work with telecommunications, logistics, retail, aviation, anything you may think of. Gas and oil industry, big clients like that, they fall into the third basket. That's where our specialists have a combination of skills, knowledge, and combination of domain knowledge. And that's where this unique expertise keeps growing. And that's where we as the company are interested in keeping people as long as possible inside the organization, but not locking them inside one project with one client. That's where we help them rotate and change places. And again, that's where relocation may be an answer. And how we manage to do that? Well, actually, there are some classic corporate culture things there, and we have very bright and memorable values. Of course, we cannot be good partners for our clients if we don't experience what is called excellence. So we give it to our clients and we do it for our people because otherwise it's very difficult to deliver on that. Commitments, again, that's the key for our business model, key for us, and that's what happens inside the organization. So it's enough to say uh, that, yep, that's happening and your word is more than enough. That's how much we trust each other and that's how much the atmosphere is full of trust and reliability on each other. And again, that helps. Creativity, we are all out-of-box thinkers. Otherwise, it's not possible to grow like that. It's not possible to open eight new countries in just one calendar year, like 2022, while still managing the war things, the consequences, and re rebalancing the business. That's what we did. And without being creative, it's not possible just to put normal way of working like boring plans or boring project plans into action. So we do that in every aspect. And of course, we are very diverse. We have so many nationalities and Natalia will mention how many nationalities are presented in lots of Poland today, but we are talking not about 10 or even 20. We are talking about really many, many, many nationalities. And without respect, this just wouldn't work. And that's the special kind of focus from our top management, from leadership, from our team members that whatever happens must be done with respect. Again, any company, any business may experience up and down, but even in difficult situations like down situations, down, downsizing, downscaling, you may do that with respect. Again, we oblige that law. And agility, that's very typical of technical people to speak of agility and to have certification there. And we have a lot of that. At the same time, it's the philosophy. And we share that and we try to be as agile as possible in order our internal clients feel happy and have many, many reasons to stay with the company. But the main reason is obviously my favorite, my personal favorite is fun. I've been here for six years. And I will tell you, not a single time was I bored or felt like depressed, just because the company is really good at making you smile for different reasons. We have amazing colleagues, we have a number of events, we have a number of presents, gifts, branded shop, anything, which make you feel better. And with that thing, with that fun, we really move on fast. And if we can move on fast, we may say that fun is the glue. So, Natalia, over to you. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you very much for, for the introduction of our company. I think this is really important that our global print uh, is known and it's supporting us uh, uh, for this global mobility. So uh, I would like to start with uh, with introduction of Lux of Poland before I will introduce to you uh, the one team project. Um, I think that 
you know, all starts with the question why, right? Why we are doing the things and uh, why for Lux of Poland, we have created, we have invented this one team project. Um, the answer is really simple. The company was establishing, I mean, Luxoft Poland around 12, 13 years ago. So it, 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 it's, it's a long story already. Uh, uh, but at the same time, from the very beginning, uh, the company wanted to benefit from the global footprint we have, uh, uh, um, we have right? So uh, taking, taking it to the consideration and another aspect, which is IT, uh, IT branch, IT market, which is still and was in the past hot. Uh, right now, I would, I would, I would even say that in some countries still overheated. We wanted to extend our possibility to hiring to to build our uh, our uh, company not only based on the local people, but we wanted to bring uh, knowledge, practice from the people around the globe. So that's why we, from the very beginning, we were very open for making relocation of people who are coming to Poland. So it was business business reason, of course, right? Why why we why we started to uh, to do it, and we are really successful in it. And um, what is important that uh, with the success or behind the success, of course, staying people, right? So I will tell you in a minute. Uh, who did it and uh, and how how this one team project is built? But before I will move forward, a few words about Luxoft Poland right now. So right now we are two thousand four hundred people, uh, and uh, important thing from this from from title of this webinar is that we are hiring people from more than fifty nationalities. 50, five, zero nationalities. People are coming from a different part of the, of the world. We have people from all the continents here. Uh, maybe, maybe not all, but majority of, of, of continents. So you can find here people from Ukraine, but you can find people from uh, Brazil, right? At the same time, at the same time. So, if I think about the people from Ukraine, we are very similar when it comes to the culture. We are very similar when it comes to the language. Of course, there are some differences, but still it's much more easier to understand each other. But if you think about the, someone who is coming from Brazil, it's a totally different story, right? So, uh, uh, so based on this kind of experience, we started to thinking that we need to support people, uh, uh, people with their experience uh, a relocation experience and adaptation in uh, in Poland. So as of now, half of our headcount, uh, it's around 1,000 1, people are coming from abroad. Yes, 50, 52 nationalities, more than 1,000 people. You can imagine the scale, right? And the complexity of this, of this, uh, uh, of this uh, topic. So, this is challenge, right? This is challenge, how to uh, bring people to Poland, how to make them happy, how to make them efficient, and how to, at the same time, support business with the normal business uh, as usual uh, processes. Uh, so it was answer on the question why. Now I would like to tell about um, for who, why, uh, what and how we are doing those uh, those things related to one team uh, one team project. So when I'm thinking about the person who who wants to change the job and would like to change the country, for example, what kind of challenges the the, the, the person has? Right. I think that the first point is that the person has a courage, right, to 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 change uh, to change uh, the location. Sometimes. This is a situation which unfortunately forced people to, 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 to change their location, right? So people who are coming from, from a different, uh, different countries, they would like to have a smooth relocation process, smooth uh, uh, paperwork in the immigration office. They would like to know the culture. They would like to understand the culture. They would like to know the language or few words in the local language, just to just to feel more familiarized with with the with the with the country, 
and uh, at the same time they would like to to feel as a part of community yes they would like to feel to be welcome they would like to feel that they belong to the community of the uh, uh, of the people here so uh based on it we decided that we will ask our people who are relocated what are their needs yes how we how we can shape how we can shape the uh, uh, the project uh, for them. So all has started in 2015. Uh, that was the really, really high peak in our in our hiring uh, uh, to Luxoft Poland. And we started asking questions for those who were relocated, how we can support you. So we started to create it. Um, team, relocation team, who is helping with the travel, with, who is helping with immigration aspects in the immigration office. Yes, yeah, so this is this is one thing. At the same time, we needed to create the processes which supporting all this uh, uh, all this uh, relocation activities. So if the person is coming alone, I would say that this is more or less simple case, right? But if we think that someone is coming with the family members, with the spouses, wives, kids, it started to be more complicated, right? So, so uh, they need to uh, they need to you know think about the school, about the work for the uh, for the spouse if 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 this is something what they would like to do. So there is you know a huge checklist to do things to do. Uh, and you have a, you, you can have a very big headache, right? If you think if you think about it. So we wanted to make people much more like um, happier because of lower you know lower headache uh, when it comes to all this uh, uh, all these activities. So while questioning those people, we wanted to create something which is really simple, which is light, right? So what is really um, something what you can simply understand. What are the pillars? How we can support you? So based on it, we have created the one team project, which has three main pillars. The pillars are adaptation program, family community, and initiatives for, for our employees. And uh, um, I would say this adaptation program, this is the, 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 the biggest, right? The biggest one. Uh, as you can see, I will not, of course, read all the things, but uh, there is a lot of points. There is a lot of activities which are supporting our people. And behind of all these dots are people, right? Are processes, people, budgets, even if I think about the budgets, right? This is not, for example, Polish language classes. Yes, we are paying for the Polish language classes for our employees. So they have it for free. Even today, there was a communication that if you would like to join Polish language classes for the beginner, beginners, because we have few levels, you can sign, uh, sign up. There is 100 places free. So please, uh, uh, please, please join us. And it, it, it sounds very simple, right? But if you think about the, 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 the organization of those uh, lessons, about the budget, this is, you know, this is not, this is not a, a simple thing. You need to understand that this is not given. We need to convince our stakeholders, budget holders, right? That this is something what is important. So uh, I think this is this is a very a very good point to, to 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 remember that we need to have a really good business case behind to create this kind of uh, this kind of initiatives. So um, as you can see, one team body. I was I I I will tell you in a minute. This is a community of volunteers who are helping, who are supporting our people who are relocated uh, to be uh, uh, within the culture, within the uh, within the uh, country. The heart of all these activities it's it's constant mood monitoring and evaluation of what we are what we are doing, why we are asking people, why we are checking all the things because we would like to have sure that everything what we are doing 
is connected to the needs of, of, of the people, yes? And sometimes we are doing things that we think that from the very beginning, oh, this is a very good idea. But after some time, we understand that, okay, maybe the effort is too big and the result is not so that, uh, it's not so that, I, I don't want to say fancy, but the effort uh, is, not, uh, is not balanced the, um, the results. So we need to constantly evaluate what we are giving and if this is something what is supporting, um, what is supporting our people. So question, questioning is always on the, on the, on the go. Uh, family community, when we think about those people who are coming with the family, it's important to give them some support. As I said before, schools, kindergartens, or for example, helping, uh, helping to find a job on the Polish market for the spouses. Yes, so we are having uh, so-called hire me training for those uh, who would like to find a job. And I will tell you in a minute how we, how we organize it. And of course, initiative initiatives even so this is something uh, mm, mm, these are things that the, the the goal of them is to build this community to, to the sense of being here the sense of being with 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 people uh, people in poland so one of this is lux trip and let me uh, let me tell you something more about Lux Trip, and I will come back to one one thing, buddy. So um, Lux Trip, this is very simple concept. This is you know not rocket science. We just wanted to make a simple introduction to the cities where people are living. So if you are a newcomer to Wrocław, or you are newcomer to Warsaw, we are organizing a city trips with a, a, a high level spe, a specialized uh, uh, city, city guides who are showing our people and their families the city. We are telling about the culture, we are telling about the, uh, uh, the streets, about the buildings, ab ab about the, the history. This is one of the aspects. So you can see the city, you don't have to do it by yourself. Of course, for example, in Wrocław, we have a very nice, uh, very nice map with uh, draws. Natalia, this is uh, draws, yes. So very small, tiny. Uh, um, I don't remember the word Krasnal. Um, yes, I don't remember, but I will, I will, I will think about it in the in the in the meantime. So there is a lot of draws around the city, and you can go through the city with the map, and you can find them, right? Uh, but not all of the cities in Poland offering such a very nice way of making introduction of the city. So that's why we, we have the city guide uh, who, is, uh, who is supporting. And, you know, one thing, this is, this is uh, being uh, on the city trip, but at the same time, we are building the community. We are building connections. We are building relationships and belonging. Yes, you can see here some uh, feedbacks from our participants. Um, so it works this way that if you meet someone from the very beginning during this city trip, you are making these relations and it helps you to, 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 to move forward. So it, it was a uh, lax trip. And let me get back to the, uh, to the one team body. One Team Body, this is uh, um, not new initiative, but this is, uh, this is initiative which we are still developing, listening our people and their, uh, their feedback. So One Team Body, this is a person, I can be One Team Body, Natalia can be uh, uh, One Team Body. So this is a person who is living in the city, living in the country, would like to spend some time with people who are coming to the, to the country, to the city and would like to support with all the activities uh, related to uh, to life in the new uh, in the new uh, uh, country so this is uh, this is uh, volunteering right so people are doing it as uh, volunteers of course we are giving them some loyalty points uh, uh, because we have very nice loyalty program uh, at Laxov so they 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 can uh, you know uh, collect some 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 points um, but 
you know, this is very small, this is very small appreciation from the company and people uh, telling us that this is enough. They are doing really because they, they can feel it from the, you know, deep of their hearts that they would like to support, uh, support people who are coming. So um, our goal is to combine, right, people who are allocated with the one team bodies and how we are doing it. Majority of the pairs are like created after welcome day session. Why? Because during welcome day session, HR team is introducing the activity and people can, uh, uh, people can request for the one team uh, body via application form. So we have created some special form and people uh, can, uh, can ask uh, about the one team body who is supporting even in such, you know, even in some of the areas. Um, at the same time, we have a pool of one team bodies. We are recruiting them. So, you know, from time to time, we are sending information to, to entire Poland. Hey, we are looking for one team bodies. We have a bunch of newcomers. Would you like to support them? Yes. And right now we have more than 60 one team bodies who is supporting relocated people. It's a really, um, it's a really big number, I would say, of people. And they are constantly and uh, uh, actively helping our newcomers. Um, moving forward, as I, as I shared before, when it comes to uh, hire me training, so something what we are doing for spouses, for the families, uh, we are organizing a special, uh, uh, special um, meetings, um, how to sign in, you need to just send the email or tell your spouses that at Laxoft we are making this, this kind of training, so if you would like to join, please join, you just need to sign up and, uh, and we will contact the person, um, of course, with information, uh, with only organizational uh, information. This is totally free. We, of course, not not asking people for for uh, for paying it. Uh, but you can imagine that if we engage a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people from different departments, this is something what needs coordination. This is something what needs engagement of those people who are coming to this to this training. What we are doing. Part one is held by recruitment team. So about recruitment process in Poland. How should uh, a CV likes in Poland? How to behave during the meetings? Uh, what kind of questions cannot be asked during the interview? Yes, so this kind of tips uh, which can support you with creation of the uh, profile on LinkedIn or to be prepared uh, to this uh, uh, interview. Another aspect, this is aspect related to the relocation. It, it's called relocation, but in this, uh, in this particular meaning, it means immigration topics, right? So all the papers, blue cards, residence permits, and other, uh, uh, and other, uh, other documents which is needed to, to, to stay uh, safety uh, in the country. And the last is uh, not least, of course, it's held by HR admin team. So it's about basic rules of Polish labor code. So, <clears throat> Four hours, three teams, uh, usually 15 to 20 participants each quarter. Uh, and this is something what we are doing uh, in, uh, in the recurrency one time per one quarter. Yes, and, and uh, another, another staff is uh, QA sessions we have for relocated and uh, their spouses. So we have special additional webinar for people who are coming from abroad um, on monthly on monthly basis. So after the relocation, after you have accommodation and, and you are more or less fine with these basic aspects, you started to think about other, other stuff, right? So at the first point, it was, I don't know that I don't know. Now I know that I don't know, right? So that's why we are having this QA sessions, additional sessions, if people would like to raise the questions. Of course, they can raise always because we have special services, they, they have HR business partners. 
but this is a special special time that people can meet each other as well so this is one of the part of building uh, building the the community and the, the 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 last question is who is who is doing it right who is doing it and in our case hr is coordinating all of these activities hr was the department uh, who uh, has invented one team project eight years back and we are coordinating it and it works right so i think it's important to find the special people special department which is responsible for this activity and uh, we we have created very simple and um, i would say light nice program for our people relocated people and we wanted to check if this is something what we can we can you know just copy paste to another location and uh, we started to looking for the location which has more or less similar structure of the of the of the people so we asked german colleagues from from lux of germany maybe you would like to try maybe you would like to take something from us and uh, it was a pilot of our of our uh, one team project invented in poland and you know at the end it was very simple it was very simple implementation uh, of course there are some differences because even if something works in poland it it might not work in in germany so they are still under development as i as I, as, I, as i shared this is a process right we need to ask we need to evaluate we need to change so um, in germany it works very good we have created a, a, a very good community of one team bodies and uh, and uh, activities around language classes or hire me uh, trainings and suddenly the war has come right suddenly it you know it was it was uh, something what uh, uh, what is really even hard to you know to uh, to tell but Having this in mind, as Natalia mentioned, we have opened eight new locations around the globe to support our people from Ukraine who wanted to relocate to another country to, to, to find a place to live for this, for this, for this very hard uh, 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 and tough time. And uh, what we did, we copy-paste, right? We copy-paste the very simple project i would say one one team on one pager uh, in the in the locations yes and who is doing it of course hr but with the support of people with the support of one team bodies and uh, other departments uh, who are uh, who are helping so how we are managing the global one team as you can see i i, I will not read but what is important is to have coordinator in our case is Magdalena from Poland uh, Magdalena is our global one team coordinator and uh, you know having monthly meetings with the global with the local one team coordinators they are uh, they're sharing their um, experiences their um, ideas for example today uh, uh, um, during during one of our calls uh, our colleague from Serbia she said that, uh, we don't want to uh, we, we want to have people of course uh, uh, as a one team bodies who are relocated but we have a lot of people who are from Serbia that they would like to support right so you know from the very beginning we wanted to uh, have in one team bodies people who are for example coming from India and the relocated uh, employee newcomer is from India and we are making a pairs yes but this is like a, 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 another, you know, variation of the uh, of uh, of this uh, approach. Yes. So they 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 uh, they just can do it. Yes. So uh, the flexibility and the flexibility is there. So I, I think uh, from from my side, this is this is all. Uh, I and I think it's important to mention that that's the way how Luxsoft uh, produces new products internally. When a location, any location has the initiative, they 
have their pilots, then they successfully roll out the initiative and they just share with other colleagues and then it becomes a global thing. It's not that we make an order, everybody must do that. This is not like software. So this is one of the examples of a product which was born in Poland because of local Polish needs at that point of time, but now it's a network. It's a network of one team coordinators, it's a network of supporters, it's a network of participants, and it's already a huge number of people who touched this project or were touched by this project. So it depends on the role. And I may say again, as a person who is experiencing relocation, this helps. This really makes you feel better and makes you feel that somebody has your back and you can always have your sometimes stupid questions answered very quickly and your fears can be taken away and there's always somebody who is there for you. And it's not always just the bureaucratic part of the whole thing. It's not just papers. It's not just visiting immigration office or anything. It's just like making your life normal, normal again, so back to normal. And that's what we really did through this project. And at the moment, we are talking about hundreds, actually thousands of relocated people just within uh, recent events, and that's up to 3,000 people in total. Usually the number is lower, but that was not a standard year. But since we keep growing, again, we keep mastering these type of activities, and we are happy to share. We are not hiding it. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Natalia. Uh, I think that small, tiny things, I mean, just it's or gnomes or dwarfs, right? So oh, this dwarfs. Is, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is one yeah. point. Thank you, and very much, Katerina. I, you know, I forgot the word, but it's, yeah. <laughs> we don't use it very often. <laughs> it's normal, I think. And you know? In Wrocław, we have our own uh, uh, work, and it's called Lakshik. So you can find it uh, very close to our office. Great. So, yeah, I got it. I already have a reason to come and to see the Wrocław. Yes, I would like You're to absolutely welcome should. you here. Yeah, yeah, happy to welcome you. Thank you very much. We have a couple of questions, and I think right now it's it's become more of them. And um, so, first of all, uh, the question from Juliana Pirun. What resources did you have to start and manage the program? People, technology, special benefits, etc. So maybe you can share some more details. What kind of resources? You Natalia, were... we 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 had two HR people, two two HR people who invented this uh, this uh, this program. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to te technology. Survey Monkey uh, and the PowerPoints. Uh, and and course, Confluence, our favorite. Yes, and Confluence. Uh, this is this is like a shared shared desk, uh, mm -hmm. a shared uh, space when we are putting all the all the docs uh, together. And uh, motivation and uh, engagement, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, it's okay. Okay, motivation and engagement. You you were talking about some benefits program you have inside that it's going to be not so, not so big, but anyway, mm -hmm. maybe something more about this. Okay, of course. So um, it was not from the very beginning. Yes. Yeah? So we, we we with the quantity of uh, one team bodies, we decided that to. To make some small appreciation, we would like to give them something. Uh, mm -hmm. They don't know it from the very beginning. Yes, if they sign in, uh, they, they have information. Ah, if you sign you uh, uh, now, we will give you this point. So we have a special uh, special loyalty program for our people. So with some types of events, you can collect the, you can collect points. Points mm -hmm. you can exchange to some goods branded goods uh, uh i think this 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 uh, and but that, that, that's not why you do this it's the first thing is you just want to help and you feel good by helping and you like share and then the company appreciates the effort but it's not compensation in terms of like by hours or overtime payment nothing like that nothing Nothing like that. Uh, what I what we we've all seen that especially from the very beginning and in the, and it's continue with right right now as well 
the crazy support we get from, especially from Polish people. So for sure, I understand that people started to, especially when the war started, I mean, just with that relocation wave, for sure, I understand that it's people, people just wanted to help. And after all, you, you made something. So I got it. Um, Another question from Marina Aksionova. Did you have any issue with your corporate culture after hiring people from a new country? So after people, um, not hiring, but when people arrived, I think for your location and what's going on, especially if you have so many um, newcomers and so many people from other location, how it influenced your corporate cult culture and how, okay, how you, did you measure it somehow? For sure, I think you do it. That's why I'm asking. And what exactly you've seen, uh, what's going on with your corporate, corporate culture? And second question is from me. For sure, you study the cross-cultural different management and cross-cultural. So what kind of uh, system do you use? in Luxoft for this question, for this topic. Natalia, would you like to take or? or... Yeah, I, I, I may share my impressions of visiting the big event, team event, like all Polish uh, team events back to, I think, August or September, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was after COVID, after long break, after my, like, many, 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 many months of doing nothing or nothing in, in person. And that was, a very big club, again, nice big place, where people who were coming were all very diverse. And, and you feel it, you see it, because again, people represent all continents, almost all continents. And they prefer yes. different food. And that's where you look into your food corner or food court and ask yourself, oh, my God, do you have anything vegetarian for our Indian colleagues? Do I have anything like for our Muslim colleagues? Do I have anything like that and like that? And believe me, that was in place. So when we finally got all I mean, more than thousand people together in one in one in one premises, mm -hmm. you could feel the vibe. They were mixing with each other. They were not grouping they were inter interacting all the time and that event was also based on the diversity awareness i would say we had some questionnaires interactive things and people were united in that some of them were not so good maybe in in polish yet so everything was in english obviously but polish co colleagues didn't have any problem in switching to english immediately even if they were speaking polish to each other they were switching to english with anyone who looked like didn't understand it quite well and that was very kind and very supporting and that's not the thing which happens in day one so day one you introduce one person then 10 people then 15 people it happens yeah. gradually but the team in Poland has been like almost 50% of relocated people for years already. So you cannot observe unexpected change in demographics, which will show you rapid change in corporate, corporate culture. So and our culture, again, same values, it's, it's there. So it's, it's, it's inside everything we do. So if anybody feels bad, that person will prefer to leave. And as a company, that's not what we want to happen. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, that's the thing. If I may add, uh, uh, one team is a, is a part of our diversity and inclusion activities. Yes, we have diversity and inclusion policy uh, 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 with uh, five, five major uh, principles. Uh, so this is a part of our culture, as you said. And uh, our people understand it from the very beginning because we are sharing this information with them. That this is the way. And again, not to be team. too self self aware here, we <laughs> invite external companies to evaluate our corporate culture, and we are quite good in the best place to work, the great place to work, country by country. And Poland, over to you. Yes, so mm -hmm. we have great place to work uh, a certification as well, but at the same time, uh, we, we take uh, part in uh, any other certifications related to diversity and inclusion. And for example, we have uh, um, diversity in Czech certification award. 
uh, uh, as the one of the of the uh, um, company in Poland, which has a diversity and inclusion activities on a very high level. So we are really putting a lot of attention on it. And all these things, they happen as the result of people answering questions to external independent consultants. It's not us who may give them something shaped and edited, right? It's, it's the people who are asked directly. And we just get the final results. And then we work on our homework with our follow-up activities. But actually, that's what we normally do because we run a lot of mood monitoring surveys quite regularly, different scale. That's why it's, it's normal for our people to be asked and then to see something happening. I have a question. Uh, in Polish office, you have so many nationalities. And I understand that it's it's normal for other offices as well, but other offices is so diverse if to talk about nationality as well, or or, no, or Polish, it's one of the... It's mm -hmm. one of the most diverse. I may say in other countries, we may observe 20 to 40 nationalities, but here we have 50 plus. Mm -hmm. I got it. Interesting. Yes, and after the war has started in the uh, uh, some of the locations which were mono-nationality, I would say, location, like, for example, my Bulgaria, I'm responsible for Bulgaria. We, we, majority of people there are Bulgarians, right? Mm -hmm. so right now, we have a lot of people who are coming from, from Ukraine, for example. And of course, there are two nationalities, but still, yes, we can support. We know how to do it with our one team a project in, 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 in one page. And another thing that, that I would like to share and I haven't shared with you is that if someone is changing the location as an opportunity within the company, we have special internal mobility program. So people can change the location. If you have one standard of the sub, sub, for the support of people like mm -hmm. this adaptation, mm -hmm. people can feel secure. Ah, I know this program, they have it in this country, so I, I, I know how it works. So it, it builds safety, I would say, safety feelings, yes. For sure, yeah, and it's really important, especially, uh, I am as a person who immigrated because of the war, I mean, just, uh, I know how it how it's important, really, to understand what, what to expect and who to ask the question and where to find the support and where to find the answers. Great. Um, we have some special questions from Alena Vysilkova. She's asking, if an employee, the one who came from Ukraine, decide to come back at some moment, is it possible for a person to return back to Ukraine right now? No problem? Just back and you return? I mean, logistically, it's... It's not easy, again, <laughs> logistically, it takes time, unfortunately, now with just the train being there. But legally speaking, again, all of them are legalized if we talk about Poland in Luxoft Poland now. But if they want to get back, they will stop their contract with Luxoft Poland and they will reinitiate their contract with Luxoft Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah, so all of them are uh, hired on a contract of employment. Yes, but of course we can sign agreement, and from legal point of view, it's 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 of course doable. Mm -hmm. and, and we we can already see some people coming back again. Mm -hmm. Not not as many as moved out of Ukraine, <laughs> but some first started uh, returning even summertime. Mm -hmm. I get it. Mm. And as I got it. Uh, the tax issue is a big issue, especially, I mean, just for any person who is moving to any new country. Do you support tax-related issue for your relocated employees? Yes, uh, in Poland, taxes uh, tax system is really complicated. And we are paying a big taxes, I would say, yes. Uh, so people sometimes ask us for having contract with netto, with net amount not gross right because they would like to have sure that uh, that they will uh, that they will uh, have uh, one level of salary mm -hmm. yeah, because yes. it's so easy. <laughs> but this is impossible with our system mm -hmm. of taxes and social contributions but what we are doing uh, we are working uh, with the external uh, company, uh, one of the biggest consultant company, and we are making webinars for our people about the taxes in Poland, so they can they can be acquainted with with the with the rules. But when it comes to a settlement, bid settlement, uh, uh, we are giving uh, support 
so we are giving um, company with the special prices for our employees and they are paying themselves. So we are giving like overall knowledge. Of course, during these webinars, people can ask some, uh, 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 some more detailed questions, but if they would like to have support in PIT settlement, uh, we have very good uh, negotiated offer for our people, but they're paying themselves. Yeah, that's what we do globally, because again, with our number of relocated people and the diversity of challenges they need to overcome on this tax settlement issues, the best way is to provide them with trusted organizations and favorable pricing. And it's up to them to decide, are they to do it themselves? Some of them really do that themselves, <laughs> or they get a professional consultancy, one, two, as many as necessary, and then they are okay. They feel comfortable with their taxes in the new country. Mm -hmm. And one more question from Paulina Aydin. Paulina is asking, you've seen a big amount of people coming from Ukraine and they're already now spending a lot of time in Poland and you can observe them and see how they're, I mean, just how they are dealing. If there is some changes in people, I mean, just in people needs or development, what maybe people... Just you can see some difference. I mean, just, yeah, people were shocked from the very beginning. But for example, right now, they just decided to develop themselves in some new direction or some, what, okay, so what kind of changes you can see from people who already in Poland for the long period of time, if there is any. I think that uh, people are part of our community, of our country, and that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, I think I can I can feel that you know we are we are we are in the same country, we are having the same uh, uh, possibilities here, and everything is for everybody. So I, I uh, yes, uh, some people myself, may I decide again to stay longer, and they buy property, they settle. I mean, they they feel that they want to spend some part of their life there. Some of them stay for two, three years, and then move on either to another country or to the home country. So that's what we observe all the time. And it's not only just for Ukrainians. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I would like to mention that people uh, people coming from Ukraine, they have very good Polish language. Really, it's it, you cannot even feel that the difference, maybe some some sometimes, yes, but um, it, it's very good that you know we are from the Slavic languages and and uh, we can understand each other. So really, I, I can I, I can feel that um, language is not an issue at all. Yeah, it's it's great for me. For example, who decided to move to France, it's 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 completely different situation. I can <laughs> we we. <laughs> That's all. No, I know one hundred words, but it's, yeah, I can say something, but I don't understand anything, so it's perfect. Okay, and as I understand, that kind of problems is really very connected to this well-being program as well. I mean, just it's. I mean, just if the company is paying so much attention and helping to adopt, and the company is for sure as. As I know, the Luxoft is doing this, doing a lot for well-being. That's um, where we will talk about Lux Good umbrella. So one team is a neighboring program to there. So the big umbrella is Lux Good, and mm -hmm. one team is under that umbrella, obviously. Mm -hmm. And as I know, and that's the question. I think I think it was mm, raised a lot during the summertime, but for sure, IT companies helped a lot with and not just it international companies as well help a lot with when it was the relocation from ukraine uh the company paid some fixed uh, amount of money to help people to settle down somehow at the new place and i think it's what happened in luxoft as well yeah, we started making these payments actually literally the second the third week after the war started just like we had to regroup to arrange everything and people started getting cash because that was important at those first crazy weeks for any reason and then we had special payments for people who moved across the border because again that was another challenge not everybody could do that and finally again while there 
We had special groups, even literally physically meeting people at the border at night, in the morning, during the day. We had people on duty, just meeting people right after the, the passport control. And again, just taking them home or to the rented flat or to the hotel. So everything was arranged like that. It's not just about money. So money was important and we were giving the money away. But people, I mean, our security guys, like ordinary people who worked as security guys, or they brought their friends, they did it themselves. Our engineers, they took their cars, they were using their, again, friends' cars and flats and houses everywhere just to help people move. But then standard policy, again, was in action because standard policy is you take everything what is needed in the country, you help people legalize, and then again, you go business as usual. But the first thing was obviously addressed with the money. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, guys, if you want to ask the question, you can have a ch you have a chance to do it. We still have a couple of I mean, just ten more minutes. And um, okay, I have a question from me, uh, Natalia, because you were, I mean, just launching this program. What was the most difficult focus for you with that, that that program? I understand that it was just two person. They made a huge amount of job. And but for you personally, what was maybe the most complicated things in this program and the, maybe the most exciting something like this? So I was not the person who was inv inventing it. Eight years ago, it was Anya and Carolina uh, uh, who were uh, who were doing it. Uh, but when it comes to when it comes to uh, the challenges, yeah, the question was about the challenge. What is most more uh, mm -hmm. the most difficult yeah. the most mm -hmm. difficult thing? I think uh, finding right people. Right. Sometimes you need time. Sometimes you 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 just you know need to make some drop 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 and 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 people started opening their eyes that oh this maybe this is something for me yes so uh, i would like to be volunteer i would like to take part in in in, in this kind of initiative so i think that you know making a fire i mean you know in the in the in the in the people's souls it 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 has started from something right so for me uh, i i think this is this is one uh, one thing um but if you if you have very good uh, established and structured pro program it, it 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 is it is easy to make a copy paste but who needs to do it people right so that's why it is important to find the right uh, to find the right uh, person we have rotation within the teams this is not you know this is not something that uh, uh that we 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 don't we are forgetting right no people are 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 leaving are coming so like business as usual, I would I would say when it comes to onboarding. Mm -hmm. Okay, Natalia, maybe you can add something. And you, I mean, just you, because Natalia Garbenka, because you have the bigger uh, picture, because you have another countries. Uh, I mean, just in focus, and maybe you can say that okay, it, in that country, the programs works a little bit different, or in that countries, these things work better than we were expected or that things didn't work he, there, for example. Just today, two hours ago, in our regular global uh, HR directors meeting where I get all my team together every week, we see each other, like literally see each other. And we were talking that again, in two hours, we are going to speak and share one team thing. And you said, wow, it's interesting. If they will ask, you may mention that it's not exactly the way it works in Poland right now for us. I mean, what's the difference for the US? She says, well, our people ask to run it differently. What do you mean your people ask to run it differently? Well, they ask to use the format of connects, like monthly connect sessions, where they all get together and just chat. Say, okay, I mean, if that works for them, that works mm -hmm. for us because again in the us the territory is huge they are all very very dispersed and they are far far away from each other but they need this chat hour and we are the platform for them to get together we are good with that we don't force them to go to the egg hunt or wolf hunt or anything because their context is different 
Mm-hmm. Well, here in Italy, uh, that was different. Not, not so many people previously relocated to Italy and were able to share their Italian adaptation experience. So local guys were quite eager to say, okay, we don't feel all your pains, but we know our country. Let us be there for you, with you, to at least minimize the pain. Okay, that worked. Mm-hmm. And now Italy is going to be one of the fast growing locations, again, mainly due to our ability to relocate people. So new hires, not just our existing employees, but new hires are very excited to come here, but they don't know what they don't know. But yay, now we know what they don't know. And mm-hmm. we are ready to welcome them really nicely to compensate all of the all of the challenges of local specialities mm-hmm. so again we are very open and you can easily find me on linkedin and i can share experience of any of our 30 plus countries i can connect the dots i can connect with the right people just in two messages you get it so one message to me then the second message to the right person there and then it happens that's how people build networks yeah, I'm here it's... as well. Yes, I'm on LinkedIn as well. So whenever you have questions about the Poland uh, experiences, just drop me a message. Talia, thank you very much that despite of the fact that you are not very healthy, you are with us today and and you presented everything that I think the auditory didn't get that you are sick. <laughs> so <laughs> please. Yeah, I did my magic. <laughs> <laughs> This is the magic. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you again. Thank, thank you, you, our partners, People Force guys. Thank you for technical support and the, for this opportunity. Because of your help, we were able to meet each other and to share this really, really important case. Thank you again. And be a part of the professional group, which whichever you wish. And because really, we... Together, we are stronger. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> see you, you soon at our next Thank meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. happy Easter to those who are celebrating it this weekend. Happy mm-hmm. Easter to those who are celebrating it next weekend. And happy weekend to those who are not celebrating Easter. We celebrate <laughs> life. So please take care of yourselves and, and just be happy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye.